closed for a moment, and the air becomes thicker. The master of the house is coming. You. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise and the chaos of it all. In my world, in my house, there is order and there is decorum. You came here uninvited and you stole from me. In doing so, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. I will not abide it. I didn't need to. It was very entertaining watching you dig your own grave. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once you're suitably chastised. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! <laughs> then Hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. Stand against a devil in his own home. Hmm. That takes courage. I'm with you. How tiresome. Am I to understand that you wish to die with them? I wish to fight with them. It's all the same in the end. If you have any last words, make it quick. It will only take a moment to finish you. No words. No matter. You will scream before the end, little mouse. Now, down comes the claw.
effects in the cause. Curtain falls, but hold your applause. Squirm, squirm, for now, now, here come the claws.
way. that any of us are alive. Have we not? Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming! Then we're not just fine, we're spectacular! What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. Huh? But my poor sister, Carilla. It is not right that she died. And that makes me want to weep an ocean. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home.
For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm, and the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years, and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade and memories of sorrow will die, and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own. Fought well. We could use such strength in the blood war. <sighs> now I'm free of Raphael's blasted contract. I can return to the front lines. And you are a worthy ally. Whoever your enemies are, they have good reason to fear you. And I'll gladly lend you my skills against them when the time comes. Until then, good luck to you, little rabbit. You're a finer hunter than any wolf.